Hello everyone and welcome to another video from ForgottenLoot.org Once again, thank you so much for taking time out of your busy schedule to watch this video. If you're watching on YouTube, don't forget to like this video, subscribe to my channel, and please share this video with your friends and family, co-workers, anybody that you know. Because this video is going to show you how to search for unclaimed money that's out there. Uh, maybe you live in Missouri, maybe you live in Oklahoma, maybe you live in Texas. Wherever you are, wherever you used to live, today we're going to check the Oklahoma unclaimed property database. We're going to see if there's any money here for, I'm just going to use random names because this is a demonstration. But as we can see, there are over 1.2 million residents in Oklahoma right now, and they have over $700 million in unclaimed property. So we can see the vast, <laughs> the vast difference in the amount of Oklahomans to the amount of unclaimed property they have. So, of course, there is unclaimed property in somebody's name that's watching this video. It may not be you. But it's somebody out there in Oklahoma. Here we have some testimonial videos of people who have received unclaimed money. This guy received eight hundred dollars in unclaimed property, and this one received some stocks. Um, I'm not going to play the video. It may interrupt with our recording. And this is a man in charge, Mr. Randy McDaniel. He's the guy that's in charge. Um, and we're going to do a quick search. We're going to use again. Uh, to use these uh, web properties, they usually ask for basic information. Uh, your last name to get the stock search going. And we're just going to go here. And here we can see uh, this says, more, uh, Got unclaimed property. More than 825,000 Oklahomans do have unclaimed property. And we'd like to return it. Of course, of course. I know a lot of people want to get their hands on their, 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 their property and they really want to give you guys hopefully this video will help someone you can share this video and I am hopeful that somebody will find something out there so the indicating section that we're going to use is just the red areas um, they can search for business or an individual so we're just going to use um, the last name but we can narrow the searches down to specific names so uh, let's say I'm going to use my real name just to make it easier. I'm going to put my last name here. I've never lived in this state, but my name is common. <laughs> There's a lot of people um, with my name. You can also narrow down the state, narrow down the city. But because I've never lived there, I'm not going to narrow it down. But if you have lived there before or know someone that lived there in the past or is currently living there, you can uh, go to the city and get exactly so you don't look through the entire thing. Maybe you live in two, maybe you've lived in a few cities um, in in uh, 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 you know in um, Oklahoma. So uh, what you can do is you know pick the two states, I mean the two cities that you've worked or lived, and then go from there. Here we're just gonna pick. I'm just gonna leave it blank. I'm just gonna um, search. So here we can see we just have wow not many people in Michael in, in Oklahoma. What we can see we have one, two, three, four, five people, and they all have over hundred bucks. So we can see now to claim this money. If this is you, Mr. Michael Curtis D, at this address in this city. Just gonna click here, hover over it, highlight, click on it, and uh, they want you to before you submit a claim for this property, ask yourself these questions: Is this your name or business? If a million initial is shown, is it the same as yours? Is this claim current or previous address? Um, if you're the owner, if the owner is deceased, 
or you the rightful heir or representative of the state okay of the estate so if you meet all these criteria you can click initiate claim and then it's going to ask you for some more detailed information so everything here with the red asterisk has to be filled out it must be filled out okay so the name um, the social is not a must uh, the next side is not a must but this owner deceased uh, yes or no uh, relationship we have some options here spouse son daughter through um, we can go the last name first name social security yes um, here over here keep going down and then you enter and then you hit continue most of these form only a three-step process so you're just gonna hit next continue it's very straightforward uh, you can't mess this up um, they made it really simple for you to um, you know file a claim uh, that's the beauty about uh, you know, uh, you know, these uh, entities they make things easy government is not easy <laughs> government is complicated but they make this um, process easy I'm gonna go back you can also check the status see if you came in you file a claim you come check say for instance a week pass you hear anything you can come and check check status it's going to give you a claim number so um, the last name social and, and the claim number they give you am I a robot no I'm not a robot and check status it's going to tell you exactly there's also a phone number that they give you to call and there's an email address you can email them all right beautiful so we're going to go back you're going to do another search using another name. I'm just going to remove my name here. We're going to put, um, what name should I put? What name is not the common? Let's do, um, let's try Fuller. Just so we get Fuller. Wow, there's no, no. How many search would they have? Okay. So what do you want me to do? <laughs> really? Okay. I am surprised. Let's go back. So fuller, I see. Amazing. Let's put Michael Fuller. showing seven results at a time I wish they would show more let's go back let's let's put an, another let's put John let's put John Fuller here let's see what comes up oh wow okay John wow there's a lot of over 100 here results on the John Fuller uh, and again to file the claim you just simply click on the name make sure the address matches the address you're inquiring about make sure the city is also correct the zip code is correct you see if it's the business no all the ends no okay Awesome. So we're gonna we're just, we just click here. And we'll ask these questions. Basically, all apply. And then we can continue. And then we continue. All right. And if you have more than one claim, then you just keep adding them. Keith Fuller. <laughs> okay, 
There's no Keith. Okay. Let's do Raymond. Wow, no Raymond. What? <laughs> um, what else can we use? We can use. Um, I saw a female named Suzanne. Okay. We found two Suzanne, and there is over 100 again, or under 100, over 100. Alright, so again, it's. Uh, same process, highlight. Okay. And that's it. That's basic how you search the website and find for ugly money. I'm sure there's a lot there's a lot here. I mean it's a lot of money here. You see they have over seven hundred million dollars in ugly. So it's a lot of cash, jewelry, and royalties. So I want to thank you for watching my video. Please share my website, bookoutlook.org. And like my video if you like. And share the video. Subscribe to the channel. Hopefully you did find something. And I hope this video did help you in some way. I want to thank you again for watching. And you have a wonderful day. And good luck. I hope you find something out there. Take care now.